Black Leg Sanji. The man himself is a notoriously speedy character who has performed blitz like moves time and time again. Even dating as far back as pre time skip, where his speed was greatly overwhelming, even countering a Soro user through sheer speed. Later on, post time skip, Sanji became even faster. The most evident moment was back in Whole Cake Island when Sanji performed an incredible speed feat. He was able to intercept an altercation between the fifth child of Yonko Big Mom Oven and Pound. He moved so fast that he was able to completely blitz Oven in everyone's perception, while simultaneously retrieving Chafan and escaped completely unnoticed. But Sanji took his speed to an even greater level. In Wano Country, the raid of Onigashima took place, where the two Yonkos, Kaido and Big Mom versus the Straw Hat Alliance faced off. Sanji went up against Queen the 1 billion berry bounty ancient zone with his remarkable scientific genius. In this battle, Sanji has reached a level of speed never seen before. Many people are under the misconceptions that characters like King have performed the same level of speed of Sanji or even greater. Sanji's speed isn't something that has been replicated in One Piece, especially not from the likes of King the Wildfire. To understand why Sanji is in a different league from the rest, we must first analyze Analyze what a speed blitz is and why Sanji exceeds it. During a speed blitz, you are either seamlessly invisible for a moment to your opponent or only partially visible exclusively due to your speed advantage. King the Wildfire vanished from Zoro's perception and reappeared almost instantly and overwhelmed him. Marco completely outsped Queen even when he was able to perceive him moments before. What Sanji has done has gone far beyond this. When Sanji vanished from Queen, it was different from a basic speed not only was Sanji invisible without a trace, he became invisible. It was stated by Queen himself that Sanji is invisible due to his high speed movement. This gets downplayed because it's on a quote unquote shit opponent. Sanji has vanished completely twice while fighting Queen. In both these moments, it was evident that these specific kanjis that say the words shh were shown the moment Sanji vanished. Shiryu of the Rain, the man who possesses the devil fruit of invisibility, aka the clear clear fruits, has this certain kanji also identified identical to Sanji's when he uses his ability. Stealth Black Sanji has the ability to also turn invisible due to his raid suit, who was also shown to have the same shush kanji being present when Sanji also went invisible, identical to Shiryu. And what do these two characters have in common? They both have the ability of invisibility. Sanji completely vanishing is represented as being able to become completely invisible, the same as characters who possess the actual ability. How However, it's not only for a brief moment like your typical speed blitz. He's able to perform this for periods of time, truly mimicking the power to be invisible, which is something we have never seen in the entirety of One Piece. Not even Kizaru has shown something of this caliber that we know of. This ability is only specific to Sanji due to his latest scientific power-ups he obtained in Wano. Alongside the durability and toughness of an exoskeleton, the insane healing factor and instant regeneration the extremely high temperature of Ifrit Jambe and lastly to become essentially an invisible man. But if you don't believe me, let's ask the man Ichiro Oda himself. One of the more recent SBS, Oda confirms what we already knew. Oda states that Sanji has gained the power to disappear, reinforcing that what Sanji has showcased was not a mere speed blitz, but the power to completely disappear and become invisible. It mentions specifically that Sanji has gained this ability, which means he didn't have this prior to his drama power up. Sanji prior was a character who was notorious for his speed and has shown perception blitz moments and many other speed feats further showing us that this is something beyond that of his speed prior and yes beyond King the wildfire. King perception blitz Zoro for a brief moment. This might be put to a higher regard since it's on a stronger character but it's not that simple. King moves so fast that he vanished for a brief moment and instantly attacked Zoro the next panel. When he vanished the kanji used was a whoosh sound. When Sanji vanished from Queen, the kanji that was used was shush, that of invisibility. And Sanji has performed that for a way longer period of time, hence because he moves so fast that his speed mimics the power of being invisible, which King's does not, clearly showcasing a speed feat that King has not mimicked.
limit or even surpass. Sanji isn't this fast all the time, so it's not something he can spam in every scenario or would even choose to. He has to go into his designated speed mode which depletes his stamina quickly. So when Sanji goes invisible, it's not perception based. He is actually just as invisible as someone using the clear clear fruit. He's not just invisible to just Queen, he's invisible to anyone. It's just a matter of if the opponent is able to detect him or not. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I had to stop all the BS about King being faster than Sanji for a certain fan base's agenda. Make sure you guys take the time to leave a like and subscribe. This style of video was actually extremely fun and I loved it. So let me know what you guys think. Take care. Peace.